after conducting the Sunday service, Prophet T.B. Joshua would usually join the members in the canteen. He serves water to the members. He stands in line to buy his food. Occasionally, Prophet T.B. Joshua would travel by public truck. As busy as he was, Prophet T.B. Joshua regularly took time out of his busy schedule to join the workers preparing food in the kitchen. This is one of the services in the first building at the new site of the Synagogue Church of All Nations. In fulfillment of the prophecy given by the man of God at the prayer mountain, here you can see hundreds of people from around the world who have come to listen to the word of God that Jesus Christ has revealed to his servant, Prophet T.B. Joshua. Prophet T.B. Joshua takes time out during the service to visit the children in the Sunday School Department. The children, overjoyed to see their pastor, greet him with hugs and laughter. Look at the joy on Prophet T.B. Joshua's face as he greets the children. Time with Jesus is time with joy. Celebrate him with the children of the Synagogue Church of All Nations. TB Joshua spends his time playing and relating with them during the Sunday service. Truly, in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy.
During the rainy season, heavy rainstorms continued to flood the entire church premises. This is Prophet T.B. Joshua in the rain in a dark colored jacket. Prophet T.B. Joshua works alongside the members to rebuild a wall that had been destroyed by the storm. Despite his many activities, Prophet T.B. Joshua knew his mission. He knew who he was and what he was about. Nothing could take his mind, time and energy from preaching the word of God every single service day. Having just finished the service, Prophet T.B. Joshua leaves the church and boards a motorcycle to make his way to the prayer mountain. Here is Prophet T.B. Joshua surveying the church premises after heavy rain had once again caused flooding. <laughs> Prophet T.B. Joshua is carrying a plank of wood to assist in rebuilding the church. Prophet T.B. Joshua is packing sand along with members of the church to repair the damage that was caused to the first church structure due to the heavy rainstorm. Due to the increasing number of worshippers attending the church, the Holy Spirit instructed Prophet T.B. Joshua to move to a new location to accommodate the influx of new worshippers. In 1994, the church moved to Ikotun Egbe, Lagos, Nigeria. This is the fourth building of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, the first building at a new site.
inside the church are thousands of people joyfully receiving the word of God. After the service, the man of God returns by motorcycle to his personal place of sanctuary, his own prayer mountain, located 15 minutes from the church. Here is Prophet T.B. Joshua at the age of 32. He was the overseer of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, while at the same time cleaning the toilets of the church every day for three years. One may ask the question, why did Prophet T.B. Joshua keep such a detailed record right from the beginning of the life he lived? He is a man of vision, and his vision was inspired by the Holy Spirit. It has God behind it for its accomplishment. Every day for three years, Prophet T.B. Joshua also cleaned the sewers of the Synagogue Church of All Nations by hand. Hundreds of benches and fans were installed inside the new church for the thousands of members that came daily to attend the services. Not only did Prophet T.B. Joshua minister to the congregation, he also gladly and faithfully cleaned the fans and benches daily. There were hundreds of them. He cleaned them all. As Colossians chapter 3 verse 23 to 24 says, Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for men, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. He is seen here cleaning the floor of the entrance to the church. As is his practice, T.B. Joshua regularly takes time out to share food with the children and enjoy their presence.
Occasionally, T.B. Joshua can be found sitting among the children in their Sunday school class and visiting the babies in the nursing mother section of the church. He is an integral part of every department of the church. Prophet T.B. Joshua is returning from a quiet moment of devotion in prayer at the prayer mountain to resume his activities at the church.